Hello everyone, welcome back to the chapter 2. In this video, we are going to see the string manipulation topic. That how we are going to manipulate the string. Mm. So, we'll see. We'll first print hello. Then you can see using the print function, we can print a string. Now, we will use single quotes to print the same letter hello. You will see that there is no difference between the single quotes and double quotes. You can use both the single quotes and the double quotes uh, for printing a string. Now we will see that how to print a string using a variable. So we will just simply write a variable that python is a programming language now we have uh, we have stored python is a programming language in a variable a and for printing that string we'll just simply call the print the variable a and you can see that python is a programming language has been printed now strings acts as an arrays means the each element of the uh, string can be accessed as an array and for accessing that we can use the square braces here so i'll show you how we can access so suppose i want to print the letter present at uh, the letter t so i'll just simply write here that that t present at which index and the alphabet t will be printed so we'll count that p is present at the zero index and y as one and t at two so we'll simply write two here and when we'll print so we will see that t has been printed so it is acting like an array now when we want uh, if you want to uh, access access uh, the first index uh, letter print at the first index so we'll see that p has been printed now we can perform slicing also i uh, because it is an array we can perform slicing also then i'll show you how we can perform so suppose i want to print from this y to this n so what i will do i'll just simply uh, see that y is present at the first index so i'll write one here then i'll use colon and then i'll count that n is present at which index so i'll count from 0 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and then 5 so n is present at 5 so i'll write here 6 because as you know this is exclusive so if you want to print till the fifth index we have to write here 6 and when i'll execute the code you'll see that it is printing from the y it is printing from this y to this n so this is the slicing suppose we want to print from this uh, y to this uh, a so we'll count uh, till this it is present uh, it is 0 to 5 then 6 7 8 9 and 10 a is present and 10 then we'll give here 11 so now you'll see that our string is printing from y to a now this is how slicing is performed now suppose if you want to print from this y and we want to print the whole string then we'll just leave that off leave this uh, area after colon blank and you'll see that we have given the starting point to print from the first index means from second index y till the last uh, alphabet of the string so it is printing so we have given here blank so we doesn't write any number here so it is printing the whole string now suppose we want to print this till this a only i'll give you 11 and i print it from the starting means i print i want to print from the p so i'll execute the code and you'll see that it is printing from uh p to the uh to the stop where i have given so if you want to print from the starting then you will leave this blank and you'll just give here the the index number till uh till you want to print it so this was all about slicing and string as array now we'll see string as loops that how we can use a string 
in a loop so for that we'll use for loop so for x in a we will print the x now what is happening here that this x is uh, this x is referring to the each alphabet present in this string means each element present in this string and then it will be get printed so we'll see how it's working and you can see here that python that p is printed in a separate line then y is printed in a new line then t and it's all printing using the loop now we'll see that how we can check for if a alphabet or if a word is present in the string or not so this is a small string but if it is if if it is was a four or five line string so it will be difficult to find a particular word or a particular letter that is present in the string or not so what we'll do we we'll just simply check simply check suppose we want to find for the suppose we want to find from the this uh we want to check for this i so we'll do what we'll just use the print function and then inside the print function we'll use the double quotes and then we'll give the capital i and then we'll write here i in a so if i in a is present so it will be print true so you can see i obviously is present in python is a programming language so it is printing true now if it is not present so we'll write some uh we'll write z alphabet because z alphabet is not present in this programming language this is string so we'll see that false has been printed so it is a nice way for checking for a um, alphabet or a word now we'll check for a word that it is present or not so you can see that it is showing true because python is present obviously now we'll see some methods which are given by python for string manipulations so there is one upper method which does that which uh, make all the alphabet present in a string in upper case so for that we'll simply just uh, print the string then using the dot operator we'll, we will use the upper method and when we'll execute the program you'll see that python is a programming language each alphabet has been capitalized and and the whole string is printed in upper case now we can do with we can do in lower also in lower case also so for that we have to use the lower method and you will see that p is capital i is capital then programming is p is capital language l is capital all has been formed converted to a uh, lower case now there is a method called replace now what does this method does this method replaces a word with another word suppose i want to uh, make this i replaces with t so what i will do i have just written here our method a dot replace and i'll just give i here that i want to replace i with and then i'll give the alphabet from what i want to replace it so i'll give i want to give t here now when i'll execute the code you will see that it is printing the string and i has been replaced with t so here you can see that i has been replaced with t so this is very helpful now we'll see if it replaces the whole word or not so suppose we want to replace python with php so we'll see it is doing its work or not yes it is performing with the whole word or whole word also it is it changes the whole word python with php so it is i think it is also a very useful uh, method now we'll see one more method for removing the white spaces from the beginning and from the ending so this method name is strip and what does it and what does it do that it just remove the white spaces from the starting and beginning here we doesn't give it doesn't have any spaces in the beginning and the end now this time there is spaces uh, in the beginning and and in the end also so we are using the strip method now we'll here we'll see 
all the spaces that will remove so first we'll print first we'll print our string with no strip method use and then we'll use the strip method so you can see first we have uses the string met uh we doesn't use in the first print we have doesn't use the strip method so this p has been before p that much space has been given because we have given a space here now when we have used the split uh, strip method then all the white spaces has been removed so this was it for the string manipulation we'll see you in the next videos so thank you for watching the video